Right, hey friends, welcome hey. to another video. Uh, so we haven't put out a video in like a good week and the reason was we've been kind of all over the place trying to figure out exactly where we're gonna take our life <laughs> next. Yeah, from now um, until the baby's born. But I actually recorded like a big chunk of the video to release um, on Zana's birthday. Yeah, which was exactly one week ago from today. Yeah, so let's get to that first and then we're gonna get to all the uh, the juicy news and all the things that we've sort of figured About out in our things. life. Yeah, so let's take it back to Zana's birthday. Whew. Howdy, hey folks. Uh, we're up at Horse Tooth Reservoir in Fort Collins. Honestly, my favorite, I'm sure Zana's favorite spot in FOCO. Wait, real quick, are we starting this video? Like, are we yeah. doing an intro and stuff? Okay. This is the beginning of the video. Okay. Right now. Okay. We were gonna do, we were gonna sit out there where we were, we were just taking pictures of Zana's uh, baby belly. Mm -hmm. And we were gonna sit out there and do this talk, but it's cold. It is wee chilly. You're beautiful, hun. <laughs> Seriously. You, you look it? gorgeous. Yeah. This is a good spot. It's the 15th of October. Yeah, it's very chilly. It's gorgeous out here. I'm so glad we came up. We weren't going to, but yeah, this was like a perfect end to the day. What is the 15th of October? 15th love? of October is this sweet little gal's birthday. I turned 25 today, and I'm very, very, very blessed and grateful. Hi, baby. Hey, baby. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. And best present ever, I had my ultrasound scheduled for tomorrow, but then my something happened with my doctor, so we had to get it moved today, and it just so worked out that it was right on my birthday, and it's top of the morning to me. I just took a colossal. Mm. Five. This is the anatomy scan that they do where they like make sure that everything's growing properly and that the baby's weight and everything is right and they look in like their heart vessels and look at his fingers and his toes and his kneecaps and his mouth and up his nose and all this stuff to make sure everything is great and everything was perfect. 142, he's perfect, yep. Awesome. But that was a blast. What a sweet, sweet treat for my birthday. And then we decided to go down to Denver um, to my favorite, all time favorite. And I've been to a lot of vegan restaurants in a lot of different countries. And this one is my favorite. It's called City O City in Denver, Colorado. Honestly, their recipes are a lot of the same type of things like vibe I'm going for in the cookbook that I'm working on right now. Um, it's a lot of like home style, comfort, vegan food that's done so creatively and is so freaking delicious. Like I got chicken and waffles. Yeah. Which was absolutely amazing. The best the best meal I've had in a really long time. That yeah, was so good. It was so good. I, I had to steal a little bit of it. You got banana bread French toast. Banana bread French toast. So they, this place owns a bakery right next door called like the Make Believe Bakery. And I told Chad, I really want to stop there and get some banana bread before we leave. But they had this banana bread French toast and I was kind of expecting like banana flavored French toast. It was straight up a freaking baked piece, two baked pieces of banana bread with caramelized almond brittle on top and maple syrup. It was out of we this world. We were inspired. <laughs> we were inspired. I'm Zana's mom, Judy, went with, what is this, the sardou? This is sardou with tofu, artichoke, artichokes, and... Man, that looks awesome, too. That looks way more savory. I don't know if the lighting is good. At home, we still are feeding Tabby frequently so we kind of had to like get back and get her fed um but now chad and i are out for our evening little exploration and birthday date night yeah so and we're going to another film where we're going so we're just <laughs> taking it oh i didn't even talk about tasty harmony that'll be in there somewhere should i say that Happy 
Especially over delicious food, and yeah, I just feel like over the past couple weeks there's been so much stress and like kind of heartbreak at time dealing with Patty, and now it just feels like everything's turning around, and we feel so grateful and so happy and elated. Yeah, elated. That's good. So that was a really, really, really awesome surprise. I had a blast. That is my other like really favorite restaurant in Fort Collins. Um, I just loved doing that and seeing loved ones there. It was super fun. Tasty Harmony was a blast. But today for dinner, I wanted to go out again because really for me, my birthday is all about vegan food. Like that's what I live for, honestly. That's why I'm making this cookbook. That's why it's been so fun and fulfilling because I'm obsessed with delicious vegan food that's done really creatively. So we're going to this place called the Golden Leaf Collective as soon as we're done to chatting with you guys. Yeah. And we'll show you what we get to eat. I always forget to show that on Instagram, but we'll definitely show you guys. And then, yeah, that's probably it. I am going to be getting... Sorry, I'm out of breath. I am going to be getting a massage later, right, love? Yeah, I don't think we're going to film that, though, guys. No, but that's the cherry on top. If you want to know how but I'm, like... you won't like, see it. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to know how I'm ending off my day, really, that's it. It's been, it's been the best birthday I've had in, like, as long as I can remember. That's awesome, honey. Yeah. Like Chad said, with all the updates, I'm gonna start with Tavi first. So Tavi's doing a lot better. Um, she still has a feeding tube in and we're still feeding, administering food through there and vitamins and stuff. But she is starting to eat a little bit on her own. Um, but she'll probably need the feeding tube in for another wow. month or so until she's fully eating the full amount on her own. So it's a long process. We knew it was gonna be about like two to three months recovery and we're three, not even three weeks in to the recovery. So that's that, good news there. The other news is we have been kind of trying to figure out what we were going to do with the bus. So we talked about it in a video or two ago that we weren't sure if we were going to store the bus for the winter or sell it or what we were going to do. And we have come to a conclusion on that. We were kind of backed up against the wall, to be honest, guys. Like yeah. between the bus breaking down. Oh, wow. It got really dark. Between the bus breaking down and then Tavi getting sick. Um... That really kind of drained us. That was really, really expensive. I mean, we, we, we absolutely appreciate and are not could not be more grateful for the contributions we received on our GoFundMe. Yeah, that helped a ton. That helped a ton. Um, but, I mean... In total, it ended up being like $5,000, right, for everything? So, instead of storing the bus, I should have ripped the Band-Aid off. We just sold the bus. Yeah, the bus gone. has been sold. So, bus has already been sold. Like, yeah. we would made the decision, listed it, it was gone. Yeah, I think we made a little tiny bit of money, which is good on yeah. it. We want to do everything debt free. So yeah, for us, it's not, it's not like we have like an emergency credit card or something on hand to put thousands of dollars worth of these like unexpected things on. So yeah, selling the bus helped us to just take care of all of that 
debt and get it paid off. Um, and then it kind of left us with like, what's next? We no longer have a house. We have been staying at my mom's house while Tabby's been recovering. And we're trying to figure out like, where's the next place to go? So. We didn't sell the bus all willy-nilly trying to get out of the lifestyle. We have a plan to get another vehicle. Yes. Um, we know we want to get something. This might sound crazy, but if you've been if you've been a patron for a while, then you actually would know this already. Like we we've, yeah. we've wanted something even smaller for a long time now. And newer. And newer. Yeah. Um, if we could have done a van in Hawaii, that's really what we wanted to do. And when we come, came back, we sort of wanted to do a van too. But for some reason. We got on this larger bus kick and then we got a larger bus and sold it because we didn't like it and then we wanted a van again but couldn't afford it. So what it always comes down to is we want a van but they're so freaking expensive and we do everything with cash. So yeah. we can never afford like the fifteen, twenty thousand dollar uh price tag on a newer either sprinter or transit or um Pro Master. Yeah, so we've always just bought vehicles that were less than five thousand dollars and then put like ten to 15 maximum in the whole build but buying a vehicle that's like 20,000 even some of them that we've looked at are like $25,000 plus the expense of the build which will be like again between 10 to 15 um, that's a lot of cash to come up with and again we this is just how we choose to live and we don't like paying interest which is the main reason we don't want to do things with debt we'd rather just hustle make the money own the thing and be done with it anyway so that's how we're gonna live our life and we've been in debt both of us have been in debt many times yeah. uh, i've played you know i've been in the rat race for a long time we both have collectively like 25 years we've been working on our own yeah like just you with know. credit cards like doing it mm -hmm. all you know the american way so this is certainly isn't something that we've seen the other side and we've chosen that we don't want to go down that path again and i know a lot of people disagree with that and we're not saying that that's the best way or the only way that's or just what whatever we're that's just what we're doing same with the van like yeah. we love bus life if you want to be parked somewhere it's like the best way to go it is. if you want to jump around and do kind of the rv life where you jump around to campsites and maybe even blm land it's it's a great way to go but if you want to travel and you want to you know be able to get anywhere with no problem then a bus it, 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 it tons of limitations with a big diesel like that we just i think i don't know we're going to be looking around the next bunch of videos we're going to be looking around at different vans and and figuring out exactly what we want to do but getting that, a feel for the space exactly that brings me to our plan to make the money to do that i just want to say one last thing about that um yeah so this is going to sound probably crazy to some of you guys right because we're about to have a baby and a lot of people in our comment section have been like well now that you're going to be having a baby you should upgrade to like a long bus for us it's about living outside as much as possible and being able, the biggest thing with a van that you just cannot get in a bus is being able to climb out, out to, to altitude, um, being able to go to those more remote off the grid places and be able to stay there for a while. That gives us the ability to be able to live outside. Whereas in the bus, we found ourselves um, like in parking lots or kind of we go to blm land but it wasn't exactly where we wanted to be and it had and to then, be in particular states like we can't mm -hmm. go to blm land a lot of blm land in colorado which we've known so it was like we had to go to utah and even in utah it's like in order to it's very hot where the blm land that's easy to access access and you know what guys instead of wasting your time here sorry i'm not saying you're wasting your time but we it's funny, we, a month ago we had a chat with um, our good friends Rolling Vistas and they released a video talking about why, why they're selling their big bus and switching to a van. Yeah. Just watch this video and it pretty much just covers everything that... Like all the reasons why. Like all the reasons that we are doing the exact same thing. And so. something else that's interesting, it's funny that these channels have been doing this. Another channel, Tio Aventura, just announced like this past week that they're going to be selling their bus and downsizing to a van. So um, I think that if you've lived in a bus, it's very easy to understand why you'd want to make the compromise for less space in a van. If you enjoy traveling. If yeah. you live in a bus and like... You just kind of stay in one spot in Moab or something, then that's cool. That's that's the best way to go. But if you want to travel and really get to the remote places and be and be self sustainable in your own little tiny, I mean, one of the biggest things, and I know they're going to talk about this, and I might even cut this, but like just being able to drive into town or something to to use your house as your vehicle when it is your house when it's a big huge 
bus, it kind of sucks to have to use that as your car. Yeah, it's not like, it's not easy to just get around and go grocery shopping and go here or there. And a lot of times we'd end up just staying put just because we didn't feel like moving the bus. Totally. Um, so really it's about ease of travel and we love traveling and we also love finding a big, amazing blah, blah, blah. We also love just finding an amazing spot on some BLM land or a campground where we can stay for a while. But having that ease of travel is yeah. a huge plus. And obviously with having a baby, we're trying to simplify and make everything as easy as possible. So some of you might think we're crazy, but we're going to okay. take you on the journey. Yep. Um, okay. So, so here's how we're going to do that because Ooh. we don't have that kind of money now. Um, we are going to start uh, something on our website to keep track of how much we've saved and where we want to get to in our main goal. We were thinking about where we want to go yeah. uh, and where we want to live and where we can live, where we can make the most money in the service industry because that's where both of us have worked for years. Like I've been a waiter for like 15 years or a bartender and yeah. Zen has been doing it her entire life. It's so. very easy to just go pick up a serving job and totally. make really good money. So we have a pretty tight timeline about how long we want to take to save this money and to also build out the van. Um, so our goal from right now is about six months before we want to be back on the road again. And that'll be about two months after Grayson has been born. So obviously if we feel like we need more time being stationary, then it might be eight months, whatever, it's fine, but that's our goal. So that brings us to where we should go, where we decided to go to be able to make the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time and enjoy ourselves. So we had an option here to move to Thornton, right outside of Denver. Yeah. Um, Zaina's best friend, Ashley, just bought a duplex and there's an extra room and Not she- Well, yeah. Yeah, it's like a house that's cut up in a- Yeah, multiple. it's not like a duplex for her and I, like it, right, it's a no. room, yeah. So anyway, she has a room for rent um, in her house. So we were going to rent that room. That's one option. That yeah. would put us in Denver, basically. Mm -hmm. um, and that would keep things easy with the doctor's appointments because we already have my doctor and everything scheduled. So that would have been like the easiest option. Another option would have been to go to upstate New York and rent out a little cabin there um, and stay there for a couple months and yeah. The, and freeze. And freeze. That was kind of the not great option with that one and then also like we're not trying to have the baby in New York and it's really cold. So anyway, that wasn't a great option, but it was an option. The other thing was um, Zaina's dad owns a restaurant, a Mediterranean restaurant yeah. in, um, what's it called? Vero Beach. Vero Beach, Florida. Florida. Yeah, and I actually lived in Bureau for like three and a half, four years. It was about four years a couple years ago, like right before I moved back to Colorado. Um, so I'm very familiar with like the service industry there because I worked as a bartender and server there. And the amazing thing, as a lot of people know, the season is gonna be opening up in Florida the next couple months. So from like November through March, it's going to be very, very, very busy. Um, and you can make I mean, you can make three times the amount of money in those five months than you can make like the rest of the yeah, year, the crazy. remaining seven months. And they're always hiring people. Uh, it's kind of a rotating door. Yeah, it's like one of those things where season comes, things get crazy, you can make tons of money, and then by the beginning of summer, everyone leaves and you like don't make anything yeah. for the rest of the year. So our thought was, hey, what if we just go down to Florida and then just look for our own place? Um, the other thing with going down to Florida is the cost of living is a lot less there. So obviously with trying to save a lot of money, we didn't want to try to find an apartment here in Colorado because it is extremely expensive to live in Colorado. Like even the shittiest, smallest, tiniest plot spot is still going to be over a thousand dollars a month. And that's like the, the, the big, on the good end. The biggest problem with us getting a place just straight up going, we've already thought about it a lot because it's kind of, it's kind of the easiest, but yeah. the thing is, is we are only trying to be stationary for like six months max. Yeah. So we're trying to save a ton of money and buy this van and convert it out and move back into it in like six months. Yeah, and By maybe a little like bit longer, but. April, May-ish. Yeah. yeah, but we just, we didn't want to have to sign a lease and go through that whole hugabaloo. And the nice thing about Florida too is because it's a seasonal workplace, it's much more common to be able to find like a month to month rental or to sign a six month lease as opposed to, yeah. as compared so to a seasonal. year. So yeah. anyway. So. That's we'll just what we're say, gonna do. Real quick, last night we were like, okay, let's just go the safe route. Let's just go stay with Ashley. We were already kind of like, you know, that sounds like the easiest thing to do. And then this morning, the more we were thinking about it, it was like, you know, let's 
go on an adventure and let's get away from the cold for a couple months and let's go somewhere where I have a lot of connections and resources in the town and just do something different for a little while. So we're kind of just jumping, yep. <laughs> jumping you know into that. You know so, how we do guys. Yeah. So basically we're going to go get an apartment for a few months and work our butts off, save a ton of money, get a van conversion and hit the road again with our newborn baby and uh enjoy life we're already enjoying life but we're gonna we're gonna enjoy it even more once we have our house wrapped around us again yeah now's the time to crush it out with money and with yeah. you know building out the van and everything before the baby gets here and we know that um so yeah it's like wherever we can go to really crush it out the most makes the most sense um so that's our plan and we're really excited about it another little tiny piece of information should i talk about the car Oh, yeah, we can talk about the car. So we, if you're still watching at this point, we move very quickly. Um, so we sold the bus and we knew that whether we stayed here or moved to Florida or whatever it was, we would need a little tiny car that had good resale value because we would only need it for about six months. So we bought a little used Toyota Camry with like 120,000 miles on it. Um, and it is in the shop right now getting some stuff done so that it's good to go and ready for this trip. So yeah, we have a little Toyota Camry and we're going to just load us up and drive down to Florida and just see how things go for the next six months. And we're going to continue to be making Living Zeal videos. I'm going to be working on my other channel, Zayna May. And yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be another adventure. I think, I don't know, our life is kind of crazy i think compared to a lot of normal people's situation like we have no problem yeah well it's not just that we get bored <laughs> we but do, we have no problem i think that you get really bored, get bored. <laughs> we're being honest but we have no problem like picking up and doing something different you know when we went to hawaii and when we came back it's kind of fun to just get a completely different change of scenery and try something new and before everything seemed so permanent like everything seems so much, all my life decisions seem so much more serious. And I've learned the older I get that nothing is that serious and that you just have to go with it and have fun and try stuff and see how it goes. Yeah. So we'll be sharing the whole journey with you guys. For sure, we will be making the videos at least once a week on Living Zeal and hopefully um, once or twice a week on Zayna May as well. And we're trying to get the yeah. cookbook out by the end of this week. So we'll yes. probably do a video about that on Sunday. We've been working really, really hard on that. That's it's been really like all cute. of our free time. Yeah, I think it's coming. It's coming together really well. I'll put a couple pages up here for you that we have done. Um, so our goal right now is finish the cookbook, go to our dentist appointment, and hit the road. Yes. All right, gang. Well, that's it for this video. Stay tuned for bloopers. Thanks for sticking around for so long. Um, yeah. Say Comment happy down. birthday to Zayna down below. Uh, thanks. <laughs> well, let us know what you think, guys. I mean, we are a wacky bunch, so. Yeah. Let us know what you think of our wackiness. Let us know. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. Live zealously. Love you guys. Love you guys. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. What are we doing? We're just selling the bus. Well, yeah. we sold the bus. We're just dropping it off. Yep. And this is the last time we're going to see that bus. Hello. Dropping it off at its final destination. Yeah. I'm sure somewhere we're filming this clip like before we have anything else filmed. So I'm sure we'll have elaborated by now about what's going on. <laughs> but yeah. It's uh, definitely a little bittersweet. I also think that because this is like our fourth or fifth conversion that we've sold, it's kind of like, I don't know, you build one out, you make it your home, you live in it, you sell it, you get another one, you move on. Yep. So now what's our next conversion going to be? Baby pics. Baby pics again. I mean, he looks just absolutely insane. Look at his little leg. Such a cute picture. His little leg. We posted him on our Instagram. I want to see him. <laughs> There's definitely a way there. I mean, look at his hand. Might have been. This is the best vegan meal I've ever had. Honestly. So good. We are in Denver. This is our sweet new whip, guys. 2005 Toyota Camry LE. That's the base model. <laughs> Okay, so we dropped Zayna's mom off at Studio City. Did you tell them we bought this car? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I'm sure we'll tell them at Horse Tooth, but I showed them the car. Ta-da! It was very reasonably priced for a Toyota Camry. 
and realistically we're probably gonna sell this car in like after the winter is over to get back into a conversion vehicle of some kind so we wanted something that was gonna retain its value and Toyotas just always do yeah and it only has 119,000 miles boom I don't know if we already said that but all right meet you at City of City okay it was so fun that was awesome we stayed up way too late last night watching this is us so we're a little tired but the only other thing to do today is go it's lunch. Yeah. We're gonna go to Denver and have some lunch and meet up with um, Zina's grandmother and yeah, scarf down on some delicious vegan food. So let's go. Mm -hmm.